Burundian President Pierre Nkurunziza intends to stand for another term, according to his advisors, political observers, and the opposition. Agathon Rwasa is the leading opposition candidate in the June vote, and the latest polls indicate the former rebel leader is running a close race. He says the nation's political situation is decaying. The political environment in Burundi is always tense and it does not show signs of improving. Rather, it may deteriorate even further. Supporters clashed violently with police last March in Burundi's capital, Bujumbara. Human rights groups say there is little room for opposition in Burundi, with laws severely restricting the press and assembly. Burundi is currently ranked 142nd out of 180 countries on the Reporters Without Borders Press Freedom Index. Defying ministry bans, thousands of people demonstrated in Bujumbura again last week to protest the jailing of radio host and government critic Bob Rugarika. He is now on conditional release. When Burundians last went to the polls in 2010, the opposition candidates pulled out, boycotting the vote, while claiming intimidation. President Nkurunziza won an easy victory. Now, five years later, some observers say there has been improvement in the Central African country. While in Washington for the African Leaders Summit, President Nkurunziza met with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. It's still up to Burundi to secure uh, the notion that elections are going to be free and fair and transparent, peaceful, but the U.S. intends to help uh, where we can. In a statement on February 19th, the United Nations Security Council stressed the crucial need for a free, credible, and peaceful electoral process in Burundi. So far, President Nkurunziza has failed to win parliamentary support for power restructuring, and the Constitution currently limits a president to two five-year terms. The controversy has emerged because he was chosen by the National Assembly to lead in 2005 and was only directly elected by the people once. Paul Sisko, VOA News. Thanks, Paul, for that report.